This peaceful Ozark pool, with its trickling waterfall and clear water, is about to make my day as a naturalist. When I showed up on a warm fall day, this water snake was sunning itself on the rocks, but it dashed into the pool when it saw me. This is Nerodia sipidon, also known as the common or northern water snake. It's the most common water snake in Missouri, primarily eating fish, frogs, tadpoles, and salamanders. It's not venomous, though the Department of Conservation describes its bite as vicious in defense. It was eyeing the nearby schools of fish and attempted a few half-hearted strikes, but then it had a more ambitious idea. After a while, it headed across the pool and up into a crevice, where just a few minutes before, this big old frog had gone. And you can guess what happened next. After an initial frenzied fight that roiled the pool, which I wasn't able to film, the snake got control. But it still took another 15 to 20 minutes of struggle before the frog finally gave up. It was particularly interesting to watch air bubbles escaping as the frog's body slowly deflated. For the next 40 minutes or so, I was fascinated to watch the snake patiently work this frog deeper into its mouth, repeatedly unhinging its jaws to creep just a little bit forward, ever so slowly compressing its prey into a swallowable bolus. You can see how it keeps changing angles, trying to work out the optimal approach. It was clear that this was now the snake's primary focus. Compared to its initial alarm at my approach tens of yards away, it now ignored my presence just inches away. If I was a predator, this snake would be dead. So it's really interesting to think about the high-risk, high-reward nature of a large meal like this. Swallowing and digestion rendered the snake really vulnerable for a long time, but then again, it won't have to expose itself hunting for a long time either. Here are a few still photos that capture the process in more detail. This one's pretty grainy, but you can still see the frog's eyes, showing that swallowing has just begun. Compare that to the next few, where the snake has made clear progress. I was really fortunate to witness and record this sequence in such a beautiful Ozark setting, but it's also a great example of how attentiveness, curiosity, and patience can pay off in the outdoors.